Welcome back, everyone, to Tales of Aria, Episode 7. I'm here today with Hugh Mordwin, our DM. Unfortunately, Baltimore is sleeping in his bed still. He's a little bit wounded. It's unfortunate. Um, hopefully, he will be joining us quite soon. Uh, we've updated the overlay a little bit, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let's do our recap. Uh, Ordwin, would you like to give it away, or are we going to fragment it uh, together? I mean, um, Hugh can go ahead and start it off, because he knows what he did, and then we can kind of tag on from there. Absolutely. Hugh? Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, um, after our little encounter with the uh, little goblin... We went to a city called Nar Nuringrad. Yeah, Nuringrad. Hugh, Hugh uh, being the um, uh, officiato for uh, the sinuous activities, went to a brothel, but uh, did not find what he was looking for, mostly because of his bad eyesight. And um, he and Baltimore went to a church so that he can get healed. Um, and while they were doing that, Ordwin and Finian were searching for wine. Uh, Finian ended up getting a large bag of, uh, what year wine, wine was it? it was uh, year, right? uh, yeah, it was a pretty decent year. It was actually a cask. Right. So, <laughs> year, yeah. so he was drinking from a cask. And then, um, from my back. Mm -hmm. And then, uh. We heard some crying in the alleyway, and we went to investigate it. We met a young girl named Ellie. She was eight? Ten. Ten. She, uh, uh, around ten. eleven. Okay. Her oh, sister, oh. she claimed, was oh. eight. Baltimore has awoken. Oh, yeah. uh, so Baltimore That's is no longer asleep because of wounds. He is here. He's sprung up. He's feeling great. It was, <laughs> it was just morning sickness. It's fine. Um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so so, <laughs> so we met Ellie, and she told us that um, her family, her sister, was kidnapped. Sister, right? yes, his, uh, her and her sister were kidnapped, and we need to save her because she's eight years yeah. old. So we were dragged over to escaped. a warehouse. Yeah, we were dragged over to a where uh, abandoned yeah. warehouse. Where we were very skeptical of it because mm -hmm. uh, it was just very suspicious. And um, we got outside the warehouse, and Ordwin and Baltimore got into an argument of morals. Uh, Ordwin wanted to uh, handle watching the girl, but there was no trust, because uh, Ordwin might have said he wanted to chill blast her. Uh, <laughs> so we went ahead and we took a more tactical method to, uh, to this engagement. We went in under cloak, and we tried to mentally talk to the, the sister. She broke through, and then a battle ensued. Yep, uh, where we knocked out three of the people, including the sister, and one of the minions was dispatched by a thunder clap of some sort. A witch bolt. A witch bolt, yes. We then proceeded um, so to after... get them arrested. We arrested them. And guards came and took him away. And we went back to a tavern after with Ellie. Well, we didn't go back with her. Um, we went back. Uh, Baltimore yes. sought her out, found her hiding in a hole. And then we brought her back to the tavern with us. We got her her own room. And we're supposed to be talking to the guards today to try to get the sister released, correct? Correct. Or find a means of releasing her because we were trying to approach Ellie about joining the Adventure Guild because why not give them a home instead of them trying to scam people off the street? That's what I think Baltimore was trying to uh, do because I was trying to do the same thing with the Goblin. Right. And that is pretty much we all went to sleep and that's where we are today. Yep. And I'm trying to do that with the priestess. Not really. <laughs> he is, and she 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 gave you a little uh, smile, didn't she? 
Uh, well, I think it was church. like. I think she, she was more smiling, like, like okay, yeah. Mm hmm. All right. I guess Finian sees that sun is starting to rise. He uh, grabs a little bit of wine from the cask and starts stepping away. I might just don't have some. <clears throat> oh, that's you walking in. And I've seen Finian drinking uh, his wine still. I'm pretty sure you're in the same room. Yes, we, yeah, we all, all shared a room to that. keep down cost. No, Hugh didn't. He got his, or not Hugh. Baltimore got his own room. Yeah, he he spent his own money for that. Same with he yeah, spent he money for Ali. Sleep with us. And Ordwin wrote that down. <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, Ordwin's gonna wake up and kind of look around the room and just kind of get a view of what's going on and just stands up he go ahead and exits the room and exits the tavern can okay. gave him a nice little nod and points at the cask before ordwin gets up and leaves and does a whole like pick me up uh sorry friend today i travel alone for just a little while i will be back Finian shrugs and starts drinking his wine again. So is my mic sensitive enough that you're hearing my dog bark? Yes. It's all right. Okay. It's fine. It's just ambient, dude. There's yeah, a dog the Yeah. There's a dog down the street. Yeah. <clears throat> Your immersion. All right. So. I do. I do I need to roll an investigation to find that thing, by the way? No, it's, uh, it, it would be pretty easy to uh, find your way there, because it's well, right outside right. the gate. You, you passed it already. So. <clears throat> awesome. All right. Bark, bark, bark. Even more barking. The stray down the street really... Uh, Really isn't happy. <laughs> he tries to take a little sneak of the wine from Finian without him noticing. Uh, um, you want me to roll a stealth check to see if it succeeds? I'm trying to decide between stealth and sleight of hand. Definitely would be sleight of hand. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's please use sleight of hand, please. <clears throat> You know, maybe I'm leaning towards stealth. <laughs> okay. What do uh, I have to roll against? Um, perception. I don't think you have to, because your passive perception already beats it. <clears throat> you notice a hue, uh, trying to sneak <laughs> into your casket. Finian smiles, and then slaps his hand away. Ow! Hey, what? how about all those other times when I bought you drinks? Finian squints and then holds onto the cask like it was his child. Here's a fine. I'm not buying you another one. Finian gives him gold like or uh, like a single gold and like towards a beer. Not this wine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, fine. Uh, he then Hugh gets up and he goes downstairs. Hugh, feeling dejected, leaves the room. He will remember <laughs> that. You better write it in your journal. Finian did give him a piece of gold though for a beer. Just not that nice wine. But he himself didn't share from his own cup. It's like it's like a, a blood pack, you know, but with wine <laughs> that you haven't signed. So, what about you, Baltimore? Uh, you wake up in the morning in your own room. Because of my trance, I would have probably been up like four hours ago. I think I'd just be downstairs, just like vibing while I wait for the party. All well, right. In that case, when I walked out, I waved at Baltimore when I headed out the door. Yeah, I would have waved back and just kind of like done my own thing. 
Finian just straps uh, the barrel to his back, or the cast to his back, and then heads down the stairs. A little bit wobbly, but seems to be his normal stance now. Yep, you you meet a uh, drunk Finian in the morning. Well, normally I wouldn't condone drinking in the morning, but who am I to judge? Finian has kind of rosy cheeks, leans on the table, lets out a little bit of a hiccup, and then sways a little bit back. <clears throat> All right. So I believe you're just waiting for the beach out now, yes? Finian points at himself like, child? And sways no, back and forth. The um, other one, Ellie. Finian rolls his eyes, sways a little bit. Perhaps I'll go check on you, and I'll uh, kind of like put away my stuff real quick um, that I've just kind of like had sprawled out on the table, and then I'm going to head upstairs and check on Ellie. All right. <clears throat> so you go up. And <coughs> uh, you okay? I hope so. Okay, well, you go upstairs and you knock on the door. Excuse me? Are you, uh, you are right in there? The door cracks open. Are you ready to go get your sister back? Or figure of your sister, I should say. She looks down into the side for a second, then nods as she walks out of the room. Well, alrighty then. <clears throat> and um, I'll just kind of like take her downstairs with the, where the rest of the party is gathered and just kind of say, um, by the way, do any of you know <coughs> where Ordwin went this morning? Finian points at the stairs and then leads towards down the stairs. <laughs> nope, not a clue. All right. Hey, t hey, bartender, where's my drink? <clears throat> you look over to the bar and you see a man sleeping. Finian goes behind the bar and grabs two <laughs> glasses. <laughs> He jumps and, over the bar as well and starts like pouring his own drink. And as soon as you guys go over the bar, what are you doing? Finian you look <laughs> looks at him like points at the uh, <laughs> points at Hugh like he did it. Hugh said, "I was gonna pay." Get out from behind my bar. Hugh jumps back over the bar. Is that fine? Just don't sleep on the job. It's my bar and I can sleep when I want to. Here's the all right, well, where's my drink then? He looks you up and down. I know the drink you can eat for you. <clears throat> he grabs a bottle and hands it to you. <clears throat> How much? One silver. One silver? I'm. You know what? There you go. I give you silver. Um, get... What's in the bottle? Alcohol. Well, okay then. Can I can I roll history to see what what kind of alcohol or whatever I roll? Um. Well. I guess roll history. Ha! Yay! It's alcohol. Or he would, is it? He just puts it in his pocket. <laughs> Finian raises up a finger, like beer. Not like he points at the beers. He he looks at Finian and is like. Uh, hey, you can have mine if you want. <laughs> Finian wave, uh, waves his fa uh, finger like now and then points at beer. Alright, what kind? 
points at beer. Points at what? Finian points at beer. Yeah, what kind of beer? Finian just shrugs. Keeps on pointing at beer. And then he uh, he walks up as I he'll have what I'm having. Uh, okay. Finian shakes his head no. <laughs> points at beer. He looks at he looks at Finian and now you wish you could talk, right? Finian squints. <laughs> You fucking sassy. What the fuck? This is what happens when he doesn't share his beer. I mean, his wine. And he holds on to his cask of wine. He puts a, uh, he puts a bottle dude. down in front of you. Finian holds a bag of money. Just a silver. Give silver. Drinks beer. You take a drink. That's watered down whiskey. Finian shrugs. It was only one silver. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And as you guys are doing this, Baltimore comes down with Ellie. Finian, uh, po uh, Finian points at her and then at Bar. <laughs> Although, uh, has she eaten yet? Oh, actually, no, I guess she hasn't. She hasn't come downstairs. Uh, do they serve a breakfast here? Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, then I'll just say, like, we grab breakfast before uh, we departed then. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> what kind? Uh, just something simple. Be a bit of a eggs and bacon, Post. that kind of deal. Oh, you said simple. That's as simple as I can get. I'll take the toast. Give her like eggs and bacon, if that's okay. All right. And he <sighs> gives a thumbs up too. I'll take. He walks into the back, and you see a chef's hat uh, poke its way through the window. And hey, hey, girly, how you want your eggs? Uh, sunny side up. <laughs> okay, goes back in. Finian takes his time and stealths behind the bar to see what's there. All right, roll well, your stale. My lord, you look behind the bar. There is a uh, a lot of these unnamed bottles. Can I do history like the ones that you just had? So it's a watered down whiskey. Uh, there's a brandy. He he tries to uh, whisper uh, to Finny and said, "Hey, hey, get our money back." Finny takes money. <laughs> You look around for the money. It doesn't seem to be behind the counter. There's no cash no. register or anything of the sort. Oh, he puts it in his pocket. Is there anything else behind the bar? Uh, nice. there's cups. Oh, there is one beer. He takes beer. You take it. Scurries away. You take it and scurry away. And a minute later, man comes out, chef's hat, chef's apron, all that stuff. All right, food for the girl and toast. Finian points at himself like, <clears throat> like, literally, I just asked. What? Points at what Ellie's having, and also at what's his face. What he? Well, why didn't you him? say something? Finian looks like he just uh, got hit by a, a frying pan. Goes back into the kitchen. Finian looks at Baltimore like drugs. You just 
She just sits there waiting. Girl is eating. Baltimore's having his toast. Can I roll a perception check to see if, um, like, what, what else is inside this tavern? Go ahead. All right. You take a look around the tavern. And, well, there's a man passed out in the corner. There's a man in a black hood uh, all across the way. And, well, there's a bounty board. He he looks at the bounty board and, like, he uh, scratches his chin and said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a look at that bounty board. All right. So, you walk up to the bounty board. And you take a look at the different uh, faces there. You see a very gruff man uh, with a reward for 5,000, dead or alive. How much again? 5,000 gold, dead or alive. Ooh. He uh, takes the poster and stuffs it into his bag uh, for later. You take a look at the other posters. Yes. And you also see a uh, a dragonborn, a dragonborn monk wanted for wanton destruction of property. And the reward is 2,000. He looks at it as like, hmm. I really, don't want to, I really don't want to fight a dragonborn. Mm. Uh, can, can, I, uh, can I roll a history, see if I recognize this dragonborn? Uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> nope. Why do I even try? I put negative one in there. Just a, um, can I, I since, like... uh, since he's a monk, uh, like, I guess I wandered over when yep, it, it says green dragonborn monk wanted for wanton destruction of property reward 2000 gold finian squints at the photo he he looks at uh, uh like, do you know this guy do i know this guy i'll give you advantage on uh what would it be to not not find out if you know him, but for something else? Hmm. Insight? Ad yeah, sure. Insight. Well, that's one drunk, drunk green dragonborn. Finian gives it a little nod. And then the last one on it. It looks like a little girl. And all it says is dead or alive, 20,000 gold. He looks, looks at the poster. And then he looks at Ellie. No, it's not Ellie. Oh, okay. dang <laughs> 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 What the fuck? <laughs> dude, you were on the same page as me, <laughs> But it doesn't say what crime or anything like that. She just looks like an innocent little girl. He still looks like Ellie. Uh, looks at Ellie just in case. It's not Ellie. Can we pass it off as Ellie? <laughs> Not even close. Could it be Ellie's actual sister? Who knows? You don't know what her sister is. That is true. 
Hugh, Hugh, Hugh takes the poster and he brings it to Ellie. Do you recognize this girl? She looks at it, shakes her head, and goes back to eating. Hugh said, all right, well, I'm taking it anyway, just in case we run into her. All right, I got food again. Hugh sits down and uh, he waits for his food. And he puts down some plates for you two. And, uh, little one, next time you want something, just speak up and let me know. He, he just, like, <laughs> puts his hand on, on his face like, oh my god. Finian just looks at the man like he's an idiot, but nods his head as a thank you. And now I gotta get back to running the bar. <sighs> He, he looks at Finian and he's like, hey, you want to stealth over to her, see if he keeps the money in his pockets? Finian shakes his head no and holds his nose. Smells. He, he looks at the man. Yeah, you're right. Uh. Finian's more curious about what the kitchen looks like and wants to stealth over to the kitchen. Maybe right. find some tip jars. Oh my gosh. You look into the... Uh... Oh, you did realize what I was talking about here. <laughs> okay. Um, well, anyway. You look into the kitchen, and... You are extremely surprised. Because out, out here in the uh, tavern, everything just looks, you know, ratty, old. He doesn't... Uh, he looks like a slob and all that stuff. You walk into the kitchen, and it is pristine. Now that's a man who takes pride in his work. It's like some master chef shit. You think you walked into a five star restaurant for a second? I can imagine he goes. He's out there. He's all like a slob, but goes in there. All of a sudden, he's Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Goes into the back and sees if there's an office. There is no office. Okay, goes Bar back. Is the uh, office. That feels a little more comfortable about where he's eating now. <laughs> All right. Finian gives a big old thumbs up to Baltimore. <laughs> oh, I, uh, Baltimore's just going to be like, Downing his stoth this time, he just looks up. He's like, "Oh, Finian's gone again." He he looks at Finian and says, "So what you see?" Finian, like oh, a big old back. zero, like, yeah. Okay. He Finian gave a big old thumbs up, like it's a good place to eat. <laughs> he he was he was like, good enough for me. He's chows down. Same here. Eats all the food. After, like, finishing his toast, I will ask, um... <clears throat> so, do either of you know if we should wait for Orden to return, or...? Finian shakes his head no. Finian. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so. I mean, he should... He wouldn't, He knows where we're going. Oh, and Orden, by now you would have been able to, uh, get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna be waiting outside for them. Okay. Alright, in that case... Uh... <clears throat> the dad. Um, shall we? And I'll, uh, most... Oh, he picked oh. up the, his, uh, his plate and finishes the rest of his food. Alright, I'm ready. Finian right. goes for it to the door. Campers off. Alright. So you guys begin to uh, make your way where exactly? Uh, I would have flagged down the garden, just gonna ask like, um, recent prisoners, where would they be? Hmm. Oh, well, you can always check the guardhouse. Uh, where is that exactly? Uh, go down that way. I'll take a right, and then take a left. Got it. 
And if you go to the donut shop, you've gone too far. Okay. You uh, stops the guard as a love. I love the accent. Well, thank you very much. So y'all are outside now. Oh uh, yeah, we would have walked out because okay. we just walked out of the guard. So at this point, Norman oh, no, 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 starts um, walking up. He not outside the city, outside the tavern. Right. I'm 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 still in the city too, right? Uh, I mean, you can go back into it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the stuff and then I'm gonna I'm gonna meet them back by the okay. tavern. All right, so <laughs> Ordwin starts walking up, yeah. and behind him, you see a horse as... with a cart. Oh, thank you, Ordwin. Morning, guys. Where'd you steal this from? So <laughs> I did not steal. I have purchased a horse and a cart since I know we still have farther to go on our travels and I feel since we've added another comrade to our team for now this might make our travels a little bit easier that's actually a good call uh, could I ask how much the horse and cart are worth we could reimburse you for our share no need no need are you sure? I did this I did this for the group oh, I'm sure the money <laughs> oh, I had enough Hugh squints I really did have enough. Unlike Pure. everyone else, he saves his money. I... Hey, hey. <laughs> I like to treat my friends. Finian... And small people. Finian holds up so the cast. So I kind of motion to the cart and tell everyone, you know, go ahead and load up your stuff if you have too much you're holding. Finian holds up the cask and puts it onto Ordwin's back and then hops on his shoulder. There is a cart you can put the cask on. Yeah, I, I would just, in that case, I would actually slot, uh, like, a little separate bag for my rations in there, then. That's taking up a lot, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I, I throw all my rations the in there. Is, yeah, how to set all that up. To, I don't know if that's something I need to put in my character sheet or um, not. Um, the cart or the rations? Um, any of it. Like, I don't oh. know how I would, we would keep track of all okay. that stuff. Um, so... How my gr other group today does it is we have a separate character sheet that we can all access. That's just called the cart. Um, and basically, like, mm. it just has enough strength to... It just basically only has a strength stat. Um, and then that just represents basically how much shit we can slap on there. Okay. Yeah, right. and I'll, I'll make that later. Yep, so. okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to dump all my rations on there as well. Okay. I guess my fur clothing rations would be in there as well. Because <clears throat> we don't need to wear our fur clothing yet. Wait, are we in a cold? Are we in a cold climate? Uh, no, it was Not green. Yet. It was green grass and all that. Well, I mean, you can't put snow in townscape. Uh, we were told it was green grass. Yeah, you're not there yet. Okay. Then uh, he just puts down his bag. Oh, I just moved slightly away from a chest and the guy got his health back. Whatever. Okay, I'm done with that. So as we're all standing there, Ordwin walks up to Ellie and he apologizes to her. I'm sorry for the way that we treated you yesterday. You're not going to try and chill touch me again, are you? No, no, but as an act of... of uh, what am I thinking of here? Um, uh, goodwill? Come Goodwill, I'd like to offer my hand to help you first into the carriage. Make sure it's not chill touch. She cautiously takes it up. Or, if you'd like, you can ride on the horse if you'd like to. She looks at the horse, jumps into the cart. And then, and then Hugh right. comes in as an... Or you could just jump on uh, um, Ordwin. Yeah, Finian squints. <laughs> Finian will attack. Finian gets jealous. Yeah. Once. I... All right, we're all. You can go ahead. Oh yeah. Once I watch, uh, you know, you do this kind of like act of goodwill. Like, Baltimore is gonna like look at you and just kind of smile and nod, and Baltimore will remember that. <laughs> Heck yes, I'm remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. 
Memory. I'm turning a new leaf. Ordwin's becoming a good fella. He's he's enjoying this group. Hey. <clears throat> Finian points at the guard or the guard tower. Right. Uh, let's head on over there, shall we? All right. So you guys head on over to the guard tower. And the door is open with a guard uh, posted outside. Uh, excuse me, good sir. Um, I believe some prisoners here were take ah, were taken here yesterday. If you uh, have a complaint, some... go inside. Finian uh, gives a big old thumbs up, like I got a complaint, and just goes inside. Well, okay then. <laughs> thank you for thank you for your service. Then I'll go on inside. And. Hope you have a wonderful time here in Nuremberg. Uh, you as well, my friend. I hate it here. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I hope your day gets exponentially better then, my friend. It won't. Okay. <laughs> he, he walks up to the guard, like, puts his hand on his shoulder, said, I know how it feels, and he uh, slips him a uh, gold piece. Thank you. And he he taps on he pats on his back and said, "Hang in there, buddy." Twenty years. You guys walk in, and well, well, Ordwin's gonna stay outside with the cart so nothing gets stolen. Yeah, you know that's that's probably a good idea. So there's a burly man outside. I mean, not outside, at a desk. And he just looks at you. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah. Can I borrow a moment of your time? Depends. Well, actually, um... Are you tax collectors? No. Okay, continue. <laughs> 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 ah, yes. So, uh, yesterday, I believe, you came into possession of some prisoners. Of sorts. Uh, just some carbon band, uh, thieves and the like. Yes? Uh, yeah. We got a lot of those. Okay. Um, I bl among them, there should be I think, I think uh, it was two living male bandits and then one female. Yes. And that's I'll, correct. Yeah, I'll just, okay. And I'll describe what they all look like. So you're here for visiting. Well, there might be a misunderstanding between one of the members, and if that's the case, it might be prudent for us to let them go. We need to go talk to her, if that's alright with you. He stands up, grabs a ring of keys. Alright, let's go. Well, how tall is this guy? How tall is he? Yeah. Uh, he's about six feet. I thought so. Okay. All right. So, you guys follow. And he leads you to uh to the cells. All right. <clears throat> uh this one over here. Okay. He just brings you over to uh cell where she is. Gosh, I hope she doesn't have a black eye. He looks like Finian. Finian gives a shrug like at least she's not dead look, I guess. Yeah. So, um... Her is head is sure? banded. Ooh. <laughs> Finian waves at her. Much. A bit. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, miss. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Finian waves uh, at her. Is the guard captain still here? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at him and just kind of say, like, uh, just a little bit of privacy while we talk. Uh, we'll pull you back over in case there truly was a misunderstanding. All right. Well, just don't try anything. We won't say. He walks over down the end of the hall. All right. And, uh... Get yeah, I'm going to look at him and just kind of say, um... So... We've, um, 
had a bit of a talk with your sister of sorts, Ellie. Oh, hey there, Ellie. What did you talk to her about? Well, we've learned a bit of your of your two uh, histories together. Um, I was actually interested if you might be interested ah, if you might be uh, looking for work above the law. Okay, look, I am not a prostitute. No, I okay, <laughs> knew it. Back. Let's take a step back. I'm a holy man. Yeah, sure, holy. <laughs> She spits into the corner. <laughs> okay. Finian um, points at himself and points at monk robes <laughs> and beads. Congrats on your fancy clothes, I guess. Gives a big old finger guns. <laughs> Listen, the idea of work I had in mind for you was to serve as sort of adventurers for us. We work for a um, deal of adventurers in a town over, and we were curious if you might be interested in doing the same. It would keep you above the law, you wouldn't have to worry about shelter, they would sure they have rooms for you. <coughs> and also, it would get you out of this prison cell. I'd imagine there's not much reason for you to decline, no? Finian also rubs his fingers together like cash. That too, it is, a it is a relatively stable source of income. So what you're telling me is you're going to pay for me to get out of here so I can join some frissy-francy guild and get money from them. Finian looks up at Baltimore and then gives a big like nod like, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to just look at this lady and just kind of say like, without like batting an eye... I'm giving you the chance to turn your life around for the better. This way you don't have to worry about living off stealing from others and potentially getting your life having your life thrown away. Well, when you pay off my bail, then come talk to me. Is that a deal then? Like I said, we'll continue talking once my bail's paid. <coughs> He, he walks up to the uh, uh, cell. I'm, oh. I'm, before anything else, I'm just going to look at her and just kind of say, I would like to hear an answer before any I make a move on my end. <clears throat> and I uh, would like a bit of a guarantee that I'm not going to just be screwed over. Uh, Finian points at himself and gives a big A-OK. He, he walks up to the uh, bar and says, how much is bail? Uh, bail for her and her crimes? Uh, 200 were, gold. They were crimes against us. <clears throat> and as to it my knowledge... It wasn't just crimes against you. Oh, this, she actually attacked others? Like, this is an enemy? It, it was crimes oh, against humanity. We've been trying to find her. Just... Find her. Oh, okay, never mind then. So, 200 gold, and she walks. Binion gives a whole, like, uh, uh, gives that whole, like, scale, like, let's uh, let's make it a little more reasonable here. Kind of. He, he runs out yeah, to I, uh, his sugar daddy, see if he has money. Yeah, I, I, will, I will also say to you to this man, we were the ones that brought her in, then. Yeah. Surely you can make it a little... Uh, surely you can make it a little bit cheaper on us, then, since we're the ones vouching for her. And I I look up at both the guys and rub his fingers together like money. We three... And then points at her like... We didn't get anything for bringing them in. Well... Trying to give the whole uh, remembering of like, hey, we brought them in. That is also true. We didn't get a reward. Ordwin's outside on his horse singing this little light of mine. And Hugh comes out and asks how much cash I've got. And I tell him I've only got about 20 gold left after the horse and everything. 
who uh, who looks at Ordo and is like, "Give it to me." Here, here. No, uh, I'll like I've got ninety gold on me right now. I'll spot seventy five if you two just want to spot like fifty. Or sorry, um, if you two want to spot like a little bit. Finian first gives the guard eyes like there was no reward. Holds up like bounty. Po uh, looks at the bounty posters probably behind him. Like, is there one of her like? Yeah, was there a reward for her? There should be. Like, they uh, probably have one, uh, bounty posters all over the place. Yeah, we didn't get paid. Yeah, yeah if, if they were looking for her. Yeah, like, that's because that's why I was just like, oh, okay, that's why we get a reward yesterday. Because I'm like, oh, she's probably just unheard of. But if they've been looking for her for a while, then, uh, bounty? Question <laughs> mark? <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> bounty. Bounty. For her. Let me go check the let me go check the uh bounty book. He takes the uh poster out of his uh pocket and uh, he looks at the poster. It's not her either. <laughs> he'll, he'll, uh, 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 and of course, like being alive, it would be more money than dead too. The same. Usually. He double checks um Ellie's sister real quick and he looks back at the poster. Not her. Okay, and then he puts it back in his pocket, just making sure. Actually, no. You before before anything, he takes the poster out. He walks up to her and said, "You know this person?" Mm. Doesn't look familiar to me. He he. Uh, then he said, "Like okay, because if you did know her and uh and you know where she is, we could totally go and get her, and then we can get your bail." Well, maybe I'll look for her uh, as soon as I'm out. He he puts the poster away. He takes out the other poster. How about this guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh him! Oh man! <sighs> he she looks you up and down. Don't even bother. He looks at the poster. Looks back at her. You sure? You would not last. He he um he uh says okay well how about my my big my big tall friend you think he do you think he'll last? He might have a better shot, but he's not gonna last either. He he <laughs> he was when said just give me like a general idea where this person is located. Finian just blows on his knuckles. Uh, well, if you want to find him, there's a. There's a hideout somewhere uh, outside of town. I think it's about... I want to say a day's travel to the east. Alright, is he hiding in uh, any caves? I'm... Well, there is a cave system. That's it. Yeah, what, what, what do you expect from me? Hey, he said, okay, thank you. Puts the poster back and runs back to uh, Baltimore. Hey, hey, hey. He, he stops what? If you find him, pour a bucket of slime on him for me. He, he uh, looks at Finian and he looks back at her and puts a big thumbs up. <laughs> that slime ornament bot's gonna come in handy, I'll tell you that right now. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Foggers, dude. I was already looking at my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> slime, T you say, Ordo just bust through a wall. <laughs> oh yeah! And Finium, uh, yeah. Since the guy is away from his desk, can Finian peer behind the desk and see what's what? Oh, there's manacles. There's, uh... Different orders. Is there uh, special scrolls? You said special orders. Like, is there anything of note? Uh, basic stuff. Uh, weapons for the guards. Uh, 
there's uh, some push to have more of a uh, what's the word? A better recruitment system, you could say. What do they use? Casting couch? Eggs? No. You wish. What? So Finian wonders of where the guard is, and then looks down at his pocket, and then looks up at the lock. And the guard comes back. <sighs> okay, so. Bail for her is still 200. But you do get something. And he puts a sack of gold in whoever's hands is reached uh, out. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> uh, fi uh, Finian points at him like he's the one who knocked him, uh, knocked her out. <laughs> And then he was like, well, I had bigger pockets. And he squints. And a hundred gold right there. Oh, a hundred. Okay, so we can... And she has a small time. Okay. In that case, if we want to foot that hundred gold towards uh, her release, and then, like, I'll spot, uh, like, an extra fifty. If you guys want to spot twenty-five, that's fine. He was eyes. I don't know. Finian rolls his eyes and then throws down twenty-five gold. And I'll just pop in fifty. So, 100 from the reward, he takes back the bag. Uh, uh, 50 from you. He really looks at his hand and starts tearing up a bit because he's uh, gone. 25 more, and you'll have 200. Finian popped, uh, Finian popped down to other 25. No, I already got that from you. You were oh. the one that gave the 25. Yeah, and I, I gave the 50, so. So, if you got 25 more, then her bail's paid. Wait, Finian, Finian looks at Hugh. Wait, did did he not give it? I didn't I hear you. He he add he added the twenty five to the to the yeah. gold pouch. Oh, all right then. Oh, he's just like yeah, it's suddenly two twenty five. Because <laughs> I was about to say. She walks yeah. up. I mean, he walks up to the uh, to the cell and opens the uh, door. I was about to have my little man go after him. One right, you're free. One second, like while he has his back turned, can Finian do a big old swipe? <laughs> oh my god, don't I do don't recommend it at all. If you want to try, sleight of hand. All right, <laughs> <laughs> so you swipe the uh, gold from him. Uh, Orzwin, there doesn't seem to be a bounty on her. <laughs> Just checking. I mean, uh, my guess is that if she can walk into the guardhouse without being like, Hey, there she is! Stop, criminal scum! Oh, Stop. while we're, you while we're here, law. what is this girl's name? The second one? Finian will look at the bounty poster. Her name... Is Eliza. Ellie and Eliza. Interesting. Right. Hey, DM, what do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Baltimore. Use your yeah. imagination. <laughs> I can. That's what the DM's for. <laughs> I think she was actually described last episode too. Oh yeah, I did. I did ask how oh, if she if she was pretty. Uh. Eliza is well. She's she's kind of muscular. Uh, short hair and a scar on her cheek. Oh my God! What's her name from Overwatch? Which one does a lot of does a lot from Overwatch? Uh, the Russian one. <laughs> Not Sorry? that short. Okay. I thought we were saying that short. I'm like. Anyways. We got the gold. We got the. The prisoner free. All right. So. 
You're talking about uh, fancy guilds making money. Well, fancy isn't quite the term I would use for it, but yes. He he, he puts his hand on up. Uh, I'll put his hand on my, uh, Baltimore's mouth. Like, Shh, he doesn't know. Ordwin's on the cart waving like a fool. Hey. Remember me? Oh, hi. You. He extends his hand down to offer to pull her in. She spits in her hand and then puts it into yours. He pulls her up and then looks her dead in the eyes and <laughs> licks his hand. Oh my god. <laughs> she grins. He, he, he looks back. He talks to um, Eliza. Is like this. That's his first uh, female interaction in a while. What? Finian gives an interaction with the with the uh, the the hag. The hag, and then there was also like a couple of, like bartender ladies. He's he's been killing it. He's been killing it. Yeah, yeah. Just not eight year old Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> Eliza doesn't know that though. I'm 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 ten. <laughs> hey, you're eight to me, Ellie. <laughs> that's that's kind of a, a bit I... off. Just be okay with it. It makes me want to kill you <laughs> less. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then he winks at her and smiles. It makes me want to kill you less. <laughs> it makes us... It's a joking. It's a, it's in a I joking matter. I say. I get it. what you were going for. <laughs> Is there is there a way um Ellie uh, way... stick closer to Baltimore and further away from Mordwin? Is there, is there a way I can uh, send a message to Levin and let him know that we uh oh. recruited some new members? Um wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. I have something for this, yeah, I think. Also, uh I think I think that's a good picture of uh, Eliza. No, hold on, let me go find one for Ellie. Uh, can Finian like look at Liza and like point at his head and kind of like do a an I'm sorry gesture? Oh, oh you're right. the one that knocked me into the crate. Finian gives a thumbs up. I could have sworn you were a kid. <laughs> Finian, g- <laughs> Finian just gives a like. Uh, he got hit by a frying pan again. Uh, <laughs> Ordwin slaps like... his leg and like leans back and gives a big laugh. <laughs> um, in regards to that, would like a healing word or something help like the wound close up or? Is it a uh, wound or a scar? The wound's already closed. It would be a big old bump on the forehead, to be honest. It wouldn't even technically be a wound. Yeah, I was just asking, like, would a would a healing word like basically make it look prettier? Kind of deal. What are you trying to say? I'm saying like uh You're trying to fix her face? A little bit. <laughs> Half of her Gen- face would be bruised by that roundhouse kick, let's yeah. just say. <laughs> I think I critted uh, I think I critted on it if I remember correctly. So uh, okay. yeah. Okay, in that case I'll like I'll tell her to hold still real quick and then I'll uh I'll uh, cast a healing word. For four points. <laughs> And you can see the uh, the bruising clear up a bit. There we go. But yeah, is oh, there a oh, way that's that... Um... That's a uh, leveled spell, right? Uh Oh yeah, you're right. Burnout, please. That's an 8. No. Oh. So is there a way that you can tra- uh, can uh, communicate to uh, Eleven? Let him know that there's some new members coming? So I actually had a spell, and I can't find it now, where I can like communicate across the world. Telepathy, or whatever. But I cannot find it now, and I was just told when I, when we, it's only when we level I can switch spells, or during rest cycles. One rest. level. I thought oh, it was. Okay, but I can't. Okay. I can't do it anyways. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's a, uh, clerics and and uh, druids that do it when they rest. Finian points at mailbox. Wait, no, not druids. It's clerics and paladin. Clerics, paladins, and wizards. Because wizards had that whole spellbook mechanic where they just keep, like fucking. Oh yeah, they they put spells into a book and then they choose what they want to prepare for the day. Yeah. Can can, can I just have Ordwin throw like a, a a note on a rock? Well, I was thinking more so like either we can 
Uh, I was thinking, like, <clears throat> we either take him with us to where we're heading real quick, just to, like, give him the trial period. Uh, and if they're really not down with the <laughs> Yeah, if, if they're really not down with a good old adventuring life, they just kind of, like, leave. Or, comma, we send them back with a letter. <clears throat> I'd say we bring with, just because if we trust them to just go back, yeah. they'll probably bounce. Yeah. See, my I mean, thought also... on... <clears throat> oh, wait, go for it. My, my first thought was to send them back with the cart and the horse and use my, um... <clears throat> use my speech of beast and leaf or awakened mind to, like, communicate to the horse don't let them yeah. leave but i don't want to give up the horse and cart yeah, either exactly yet. I, I think it's better just keep them with us and then we'll return to the city give basically like the trial period um that kid does not go into combat that, just in case <laughs> if if that's the case we should probably also get them some cold weather gear yeah that's fine yeah that would be kind of mean if we and they're took... getting us our own tent right <laughs> i'm gonna give them my tent Whoa! Oh. Hey, right. hey, Thank you. you won't hey. share a tent with Ordwin, but he's gonna share it with Ellie. Hey, and Liza. hey, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but they're I'm ladies. I'm pulling out my notebook. Yeah. Also, to be fair, I would say too, like <clears throat> as it stands now, I don't think there's much reason to bounce. Uh, uh, oh, one second. Yeah. And yes, Ordwin, if you were a lady, he would let you sleep in the tent with him. Can I do an investigation check for any, um... Or... Um... Plastic surgeons? Plastic oh. surgeons? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I think you have to get a sex change. You hear of something <laughs> called... You hear of someone called the Face Ripper. Ooh. I don't want to go there. That sounds like the bar that Hugh went to. <laughs> All right. Baltimore was saying something, right. but he will be right back. Oh, he said... uh, no, no, sorry. I oh, have to sorry, say something. I'm not sure if you want this in public or not. Uh, you know who you are. Oh, you sent me something. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. I, I just wasn't sure if they wanted, if that individual wanted a public or not, so. <clears throat> well, whoever that person is, check your messages. So and we're, uh... Uh, so, Vinian points towards the way down the road that we haven't gone yet. While uh, being on the cart. Yeah, on on the way out, um, just for like convenience sake, I'll pick up the two new members of our little ba ragtag band of adventurers um, for coats. Alright. What was the price that was on them? I don't remember. I think it was like five. I think it was like one silver. Uh, that seems a bit too cheap. I want to uh, say it was in the five that... gold area. Yeah, it was something um, like five gold. Okay, That's what I'll... I'm looking up. Uh, I'll pay if it's five I'll gold pay for, for one of them. Clothing. I, I got okay. it. I got it. Ten gold for fur clothing. So. Ten. Well, let me do ten of it for uh. Ellie, just to show her, like, yo, I'm okay, just in that case, I'll, I'll cover uh, Eliza then. Alright. <clears throat> also, is that picture I put in, like, a pretty good representation of Eliza? Just I think so. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nifty. I didn't get it. Uh, it's in Discord. It... Yeah, it's in the, yeah, it's uh, in the Discord chat, main yeah. chat. Yep. Oh, you see it now. I th I thought that was uh I thought Huffle sent that. I thought that was Eliza. Oh, this this is a good that one. is that that that's Eliza. Uh, we'll, we'll work. Yeah, that's yeah. Eliza. This is Ellie. If if this works. Sure. Yeah. Let's okay. go with that. Okay. So, Mister DM, what can we expect after this? <laughs> what can you expect after this? What can we? When can we expect art for these guys? <laughs> So um, put them on the map. I think that's Therian's job. Um, you know, I usually like the concept. An for... excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's been having issues with that lately. I know, right? It's, it's so weird. So weird that keeps happening. 
is there is there a supply store to where uh, I could possibly get another tent? Uh, Pick up yes. a bow while you're at it. Oh no, I have that the is... I have the heavy crossbow. Um. So real quick, I will say mechanically, crossbows and long and uh, bows do work differently. Crossbows yeah. have the loading property on them. Discussed that last time. Oh yeah, it's hand crossbows. Yeah, because there are three separate types of crossbows. There's hand, light, and then heavy. Um, <clears throat> heavy crossbows are two-handed to use. They and all crossbows come with the loading property. Basically, once you fire, it is an action to reload, and then you can fire on the next turn. Unless you have the crossbow expert feat, which I believe uh, just makes it a bonus action. Uh, if you have the crossbow expert feat, it is, you can ignore the loading property. Oh, okay then. Yep. However, um, I don't... Do you have it? The crossbow expert feat? I don't know. Where did I go to check? Uh, it is a feature. Or, sorry, <laughs> it is a, um... Yeah, no, it's a feature. Basically, uh... I haven't come up yet, but, um... What kind of... You're playing a human, right? Yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. Um... And are you playing a variant human or base? Um, uh, you, you'll be able to choose the feed next level. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm guessing base. So then you there's you wouldn't have it. Um, basically, every time you get an ability score increase, you can pick you can either pick the ability score increase or you can grab a feature. Crossbow master is one of those features. I probably I probably get that because uh, um. I don't know if he, I don't think he will be uh that good with a bow. Yep. Yeah. Um <clears throat> also bear in mind too, heavy crossbows I believe are more expensive than light or hand crossbows, so you could go trade it in, actually, because there were three on the ground. Or sorry, four on the ground. No, probably would have given hers back. But um you could go She trade used the club. That in. She it used the mace. Her uh, uh her her comrades used the crossbows. Yeah, I thought she also had one though. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, I I wanted to mention that because crossbows, if you're not spec towards them, can be a like a pain in the ass to use, and it's it's important to know that before you do. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, it's mostly because he's not proficient at at all at the with the bow. I gotcha. And, and that's fine. Um, I was just saying, like, we can go grab a hand or light crossbow. Just remember the loading attribute on them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, because uh, he so was... to all the kids watching, this is your uh, D&D lesson. Ugh. He he was more likely uh, going to be more ranged now, since he's tired of dying. Yeah. A and just in case, I... Uh, don't, so, uh, sorry to sidetrack real quick. Next level, um, I do recommend looking through all the features. And then just weighing your options. Because crossbow uh, mastery is incredibly good. Because it also lets you fire a crossbow as a bonus action. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, uh, just don't forget to weigh the rest of your options, too. And yeah, in case I'll, you want to go down I'll take a look at it with, uh, with, uh, with the DM. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so. You guys are beginning down the road? Or is there something you wanted to do first? I wanted to buy a hand crossbow. Okay. And, okay. The, and sell the heavy crossbows that we picked up off the ground. All right. Give me one. Boy. Are we selling all of them or are we going to go ahead and give Eliza back hers? Eliza only had a mace. No, she had her crossbow it, too. Yeah, oh, Eliza she did. did. Yeah. All had a mace and crossbow. Okay, I'll give her back hers. All right. Just make sure she's not aiming it at Ordwin. She's aiming it at Finian. <laughs> Finian gives the the whole frying pan face look. All right. Aiming it at the one guy with the plucked missiles. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so you go to sell them off. And your, and the offer for the heavy crossbows is twenty five gold each. I'll take it. All right. 
That's what's and up. for the uh, get my money back. And I think it was. Uh, you got your money back. Gideon stole it. Wasn't it a mall that they had? Uh, I don't remember. It was a mace. Kind of it, it was a mace. A mace. Hmm. I didn't get my money back. Fidian still has it. Okay. And so they give you three gold a mace. So I'm guessing if we only sold two or three, technically. We can sell all the maces. That's nine. And you're going to sell yeah. three crossbows for 75. So you're at nine, uh, 80. No, no, no. 25. Right. But three for three of them, though, it's 25 each, right? Yeah. So okay, you get yeah, 75. So 75, yeah. Yeah, so you'd get 84 total. Well, thing is, you, you were keeping one a crossbow and one mace and giving yeah. it to her. Right, there was four maces, four yeah. crossbows, so we're selling three and three, so it's 84 okay. gold. Perfect. All right. Yeah, and Phoenix has my gold. And you said you're going to uh, buy a crossbow, too? Yeah, it's a, a, hand, a hand crossbow, because that's all I can use at the moment. All right, and that's uh, 75 gold. Weeks. Let me do the math so I can. Put... You said seventy-five. Yeah. You should have. You should have nine left over. Yep. Okay. I'm. I'm just doing my total amount. All right. And I. That, there you go. I have a. I have a crossbow now. Yep. You bought yourself a crossbow. Uh, and you all see him coming out with a new crossbow after going in with three big crossbows. Nice, pristine. I think I might call this this crossbow Bethany. I don't know. That's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> no, Bethany, right? Bethany. Bethany's pretty good. I like it. Finian looks at it and wonders if he actually bought any ammo for it. Do I have to buy that ammo is, for it? Yeah, that's true. You would yeah. have to buy crossbow ammo, although that's not nearly well, as expensive as the crossbow itself. Don't, don't worry. Yeah. About uh, um, he, he, like, stops. is like, maybe I should buy ammo. He walks back into the store. Yeah, I think it's like All right. I want to say it's like two, three copper a bolt, but I could be wrong. Give me, or you got it, DM. And one quiver uh holds twenty at a time. I gotta buy a quiver too. Yes, if you want it to just be easily accessible. I was hoping that Finian could just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> just have Finian be your arrow carrier. Squire, another arrow. Finian <laughs> <laughs> actually but starts uh, using bolts to stab out eyes. But it's a one gold for a quiver. Okay, I'll buy a quiver. And for bolt. How much how much does it cost how much would it cost to fill up the quiver? That's what I'm checking out. Oh, my bad. Would I add the quiver to my equipment and holdings? You can probably put it in the cart, and then when we go into dungeons or whatever we go into, then you can. Okay, it yeah, it's, it, it's a, a gold for for 20. Wow, that's expensive. All right, uh, 85 minus 20. 85 minus 20? What? 65 gold, okay. I have 65 gold left. Uh, it was one gold for 20. It's two gold. You lose. Wait, what? Total. One gold yes. for the quiver, one for the 20 bolts. Yeah. Oh, so I only it, have... It's one gold per 20. Oh, that's... Okay, see, I'm bad. So I have 64 gold left. Yeah. Good to know. So now you have a full quiver. And you've got a new crossbow. Did, did we disarm Ellie? Or has she still got her dagger? She still got the knife she stabbed me with. Yeah. Did she, okay. Did she like? Did she just look at me, or like, she stabbed me to feel guilty, or like? So I'm keeping this as like a momentum for my first stabbing. Yeah, I feel like they. We still have to build trust with them. They probably still don't trust us. Yeah. Even even after everything we've I just done, I still. I mean, that's trust fair, us. but also bear in mind too, I shrugged off a knife wound. I feel like that's got to count for something. It's true. <laughs> to your respect. But you don't trust. Um, DM, you're gonna have to look at my um Your my sheet to see yeah, to see if I'm doing it right. Alright, alright. So what while the, while he's checking that, we can go ahead and say we're starting our yeah. movement. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. 
So Finian obviously can't touch the floor while he's sitting on the cart, uh, like seat facing against. I Finian would be on the horse, like drinking his wine, the wine hanging from the horse. Oh, I thought Finian would be on top of Ordwin while he's driving the carriage. No, no, he's uh, he's on one little, of the cart the seats. Uh, Finian has uh, the the cask between his legs, and he's sipping on it through a straw, a big old crazy straw, and is kicking his feet in the air. Facing, uh, like facing in, uh, towards Eliza. Is that her name? Yeah. Yeah. I'm bad with names. What's just staring at? Finning keeps on drinking. By the way, while we're uh, walking, could I ask you a bit more about yourself? <laughs> Go ahead. So, um, well, first off, uh, how long have you been, like, living as a, uh, brigand of sorts? I prefer the, uh, term high risk traitor. Right. So, how long have you been, uh, living that lifestyle? Well,. About my whole life. Uh. Even as a kid? Yeah. Can I ask what happened to your parents, or is a tale not so savory? Well, their end wasn't savory. I'm sorry. Finian pulls out <laughs> one of the uh, bandanas, the red bandanas that they were wearing, and holds it up. She snatches it from your hand. Finian is holding it with a death grip. You let go of my bandana. Finian gives a shake, a big old no look. Here, he's, uh, I explain what this is first. It's a bandana, and it's red. Finian keeps You know, I know it. he's new, but I didn't think you were blind. Finian holds it with a death grip and is squinting at her. Finian, any reason in particular you're uh, so invested with the, this bandana? Or... Finian puts it over his mouth and does a whole like uh, stabby stabby um, motion. <coughs> Uh, why? Uh, uh, he kind of makes his eyes go, like, to the side, looking, uh, trying to look like a drow. Are you? Do you think this? Do you think this red handkerchief is from the Red King? The King in the Red King. Uh, 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 Baltimore. He's a uh, individual that's piqued our interest recently, but Finian, I don't think there's any correlation. Finian holds on to the handkerchief. Just because it's red doesn't mean it belongs to him. Finian squints. <laughs> Keeps drinking <sighs> his drink. He, she lets, lets go. Fine. I just sneeze I... in it. I uh, apologize about that. Yeah, he uh, he he didn't have his bottle. Finian points at the cask, and then has a big old Eureka like I have a bottle of beer. <laughs> she starts uh, cleaning out her ear. Finian and gives you pull out your bottle of beer. Yep, Finian gives beer to. Uh, Eliza. What's this for? Points at cask, points at him, points at straw. Points at beer, points at her, points at beer, points at her. I believe he wants you, or it's asking if you want the drink. 
Sure, I haven't had one, uh, for a day. Well, you gonna give me a drink? Literally gave the bottle of beer to her. Oh, okay. She's, she's still not right in the head. She Wait, takes is, this the, the is this the real bottle of beer, or is this the watered-down whiskey beer? I only had the real bottle of beer. Okay. Oh, the one he stole from the, uh... I mean, he borrowed from the bar. So you're a bit like me, huh? She pops it open. And starts to, uh, swig it down. Damn, that... Tastes like some pretty expensive stuff. What comes in our rations, by the way? Because she hasn't eaten either. Oh. Rations has things like uh, berries, raisins, nuts. No breads or anything? Uh, no there, red balloons. There, there is a dried bread. That goes good with beer, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Gonna Big offer time. Some, some bread to her. All right. Keep your eye on the road. Wait, what was that? Sorry. Uh, you're missing pretty much nothing. It's just okay. drinking beer and eating food. Well, right. talk. yeah. Everyone talking to the new member. So, while we're, yeah, while we're walking, I'll whip out the fiddle, play some tunes. Then. Vibing with the boys. And she makes sure to uh, keep Ellie close, by the way. Ah, that's fine. <sighs> so, where are you from? Finian points at a uh, his monk robes beads. So you're from a laundromat? Finian shakes his head, yeah. <laughs> Orwin likes her. Um <laughs> Uh oh god. What was the name of the town that we all like convened at again? I complete I'm completely blanking. Uh Put a name on it. Um, yeah, Dunnock. I, I, Denmark? Yeah. Dunnock. Yeah, okay. Dunnock. Alright, um, well, the guild that we, uh, work for comes is a, uh, town to the south by the name of Dunnock. We'll be heading there once we're done with our business to the north. And in terms of, uh, individuals, um... Who's got the scratching mic? That would be Baltimore. That might, yeah, that might be being oh, okay. that. Give me one second. Hello? He, he was the one speaking, so it's... Did he come back? Hopefully. He did. Um, he, he just leans back and he uh, falls asleep. Okay. Oh. Uh, if... Okay, is that better? Yep. yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I was just gonna I was just gonna ask a quick question, real quick, Pat. Or sorry, not Pat. Um. Jeez, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, Mr. <laughs> yeah, good old Mr. DM man. Um, is <laughs> is Florida canon? Can I say Florida, or do you want me to actually come up with like a town name? That's up to you. <sighs> I come from a uh. Ragtags, um, sorry, I come from a, uh, bit of an obscure town by the name of Florida. Uh, oh, hey, I know a guy from there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It took me a while to lose the accent. Uh, to break character right now, uh, you did say Florida earlier in the... Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to ask if that was, like, actually canon, or if, like, <laughs> you wanted me to come You guys are creating game. the canon, okay? <laughs> Yo, poggers, dude. Um, yeah, I know a guy from there. He uh, had a pet alligator, and yeah, for some reason he tried to uh, rob a place with a wiener. Yeah, that's a 
Very forward That's Florida. Thing to do. I kind of yeah. He got a wrestling quick. Yeah. Also a very Floridian thing to do. <laughs> I do miss my pet crocodile sometimes, but you know, that's a thing for another time. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, do all of you keep a pack keep packets of mayonnaise in your uh, pockets? That is just him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll say this. There is a reason why I was keen to leave. <laughs> okay. Finian like pokes around and checks if he does have pockets. Wardwin pulls Manny's packet out of his pocket, puts it back in. <laughs> Never leave home without it. <laughs> uh, he was a weird dude. So why are you going north? We're investigating some ruins of sorts. There's a uh, peculiar matter involving said wiz uh, wizard we mentioned. We were hoping that these ruins might give us some more insight. And, well, given what was found here the first time, there might be some treasures in the likes for us. Hmm. <sighs> Finian well. keeps on looking around and kicks his feet. Is becoming a little bit impatient for how long the ride is. Well, you know that it's going to be another day before you get there. Meanwhile, he was like sleep sleeping and he uh, does a huge snore. <sighs> well, might as well take his lead, huh? Finian yeah. rolls his eyes and has that typical he kind of mouse like typical Ordwin offers to you know keep a uh, control of the horse if they all want to nap oh I'm not tired well never had a uh, personal cart driver before <laughs> it's a new thing we're doing I believe that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't even have to, like, control the horse with reins. I can just talk to it. <laughs> Ask it how it's doing. Yeah. How's the kids? You talk to the horse, the, the and hor uh, he just says, I've seen so much. Well, my my wife cheated on me yesterday, so <laughs> not doing too hot. <laughs> and then you bought me, and now I can't even be with my kids. My, name, my, name, my name's Charlie. Ooh, my horse's name is Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Hold up. You haven't seen, uh... You haven't seen a pink yes, horse I have. before, have you? <clears throat> a seen pink what? Horse. <laughs> You're not going to be taking me to them, are you? No, I <laughs> promise. Okay, good. <clears throat> you can keep your kidneys. I don't have them anymore already. They, they already got it. <laughs> they took I... it to Candy Mountain. How do you know Charlie, about Candy Mountain? Look, we found... It took me a second to realize what, like, what oh, that wait, was. Oh, they can't thing. understand me. I'm relaying all info. How do they know about Candy Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Florida thing. What? <laughs> Have you been yeah. to Florida? Been there, never going back. I respect it. And, uh, well, as you guys are going along the road, you notice a man on the side of the road with his thumb out. Hmm. Oh, a hitchhiker. Ordwin, uh, smacks Hugh to wake him up. Uh, what? Uh. Hey, check your uh, wanted sheets. Is this man anything that uh, we're looking for? He just pulls out the the five thousand gold one and he looks at the man. Uh, no. He looks at mm. the post. There's like she said, us more due east. We're heading north. Just being cautious. Yeah, he pulls out the twenty thousand one. Looks at him just in case. Nah, it's, it's, it's a girl, not a guy. Um, he, is he alone, or does he have stuff with him, or is, is it just him? He's got a uh, he's got a bag. 
Does Finny want to rob him? What's he look like? Large bag? Uh, well, he is a bearded man in a dark cloak. Hugh. Oh. Full history. Oh, no. Negative one! Okay, no, never mind. All right, so. He's just standing there by the roadside with his thumb out. Uh, do we want to stop for him, or...? Finian shrugs. Hmm. I'm going to include uh, Ellie and Eliza in on this as well, since they are traveling with us, and their safety is also in concern, if mm -hmm. they want to stop as well. Uh, Eliza just waves her hand. As in, I don't care. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can stop and see what he wants, I guess. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. Um, does it look like in the surrounding areas, is it like, does it look like there's a place for other people to hide, or...? Uh, no, not really. Okay. <clears throat> in that case, we can stop and ask what's poppin' G. And Ordwin's gonna hop off and water the horse. Yep. And, uh, do you want me to walk over to him, then? Uh... No, we should send Finian. All right. He's, <laughs> I'm up, he's I'm picking kidding, up kidding. his bag and putting it on his back as he gets ready to go over towards you guys. Okay. He walks out, walks with Baltimore, and uh, he loads the crossbow just in case. Finian looks at the bag. Surely this is just a diplomatic conversation. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think it's your hitchhiking. Yes, yes, I am. Sounds familiar. I need to make my way up north. Ah, can I ask how far up north? Uh, as far as you're going. Hmm. <laughs> Just drop <laughs> me <laughs> off wherever you feel. Any reason for the travel? I have an old friend I'm trying to reach. I see. Can I insight him to see like if everything he said is like valid? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to see your license and registration. He's telling the truth, as far as you can tell. <laughs> uh, anybody else want to do insight or? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll roll too. I mean, I'm proficient in it. Well, you know, you are in fact proficient in it. <laughs> What is yep. up with these insight rolls from Finian? And you, what is this? Everything he said is the truth, and I'm going to send something to heal. Oh, God. I'm going to use this time to use my, um... This, and just kind of let everyone know, including Ellie and Eliza, you know, just be on guard. He uh he looks um looks at the man and like and then like he 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 walks up close to the man and he whispers and I'm I'm just gonna message it to you. Okay. <laughs> and he whispers back. Well. <laughs> Why don't I uh, just hop in the back? As as long as you'll let me uh, ride with you, I won't cause any trouble. And you can drop me off wherever you please. Is this all right, Hugh? He he lo he looks as that. How about we drop you off uh, two feet? Two feet. He he looks at the man and says, "I'm just kidding." All right, let's go. And he uh, hops back into a carriage. And that uh, sits down in the far corner. And he comes over and sits down next to you. I'm going to sit on the opposite side of him. So how we're sitting right now is what? Baltimore's with Ellie and Eliza and Finian's with them too as well, right? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I, th I honestly thought we were just walking alongside the cart. No, no we were in. all in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Well, Baltimore can walk if he wants. I mean, sounds like he doesn't want to ride in the carriage that Ordwin bought. Oh my god. <laughs> Ordwin will remember that. I will. Well, no, Baltimore was in it too because it said that, um, said Eliza kind of moved closer to Ellie and away from Baltimore. Oh, away from Ordwin. No, Ellie. Uh, Ellie moved closer to uh, Baltimore away from Ordwin. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah. Okay. So, you guys are currently riding in the uh, cart together. And the man just uh, le leans his head down and seems to nod off. Alright, I'm gonna get the horses started again. Pinion's just curious about what's in the bag. Alright. You want to roll sleight of hand, then? Uh... Mm. uh. I was hoping for insight. You know. Use that insight. Uh, insight wouldn't tell you anything about what's in the bag. Sure. Sleight of hand. All right. Uh, let me just check on something. Just uh, okay. You're good. All right. So you open up the bag, and right on top you see a a lantern and some blankets. Can I? Go underneath the blankets, see if there's... Okay, you uh, lift up the blankets. Further down you find clothing, uh, a knife, an herbalism kit, and some vials. Are they empty? Nope. Um... Do we all see this, him going through this, or is he just doing this on his own? He's doing this on his own. Uh, what's the knife right, look so like? if he wanted to do it in art. The knife? It's actually a pretty beautifully carved uh, dagger. Is there any markings or anything on it, or is it just... No markings, just ornate. Takes dagger. You really are like us, huh? A little thief. <laughs> so he you can put he a looks, ornate he dagger looks, into your uh, thing. He looks at the dagger. And he looks at his dagger. Can I uh, look at uh, the dagger on Hugh's thing, too? Um... It's a different dagger, but Hugh, I'm going to send you something. Okay. All right. So, yeah. What you do? I should also take those vials. I should also take those vials, too. Okay. You pull out a few vials of unknown substance. Can I do an insight or something to... Or herbalism or... Yeah, that's what I was going to see if you do, like, an arcana check on it and see if it was... Medicine? Um... Give me a second. Because I believe we do have a rule on how to do this. So that we can uh, check on all this stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have a alchemist kit... Uh, Which I do not. You don't? Oh. Okay. Um, well, I'll add something to it. So roll Arcana. Arcana? You do not... Uh, you can't figure out what they are. 
All right. Give some to Ordwin. I have the worst Arcana rolls. All right, we're going to check it out. Not bad. You don't know. I shrug my shoulders, hand them back over. Gives them to Baltimore. I'm not comfortable de digging through somebody else's stuff. Points at the bag and points uh, outwards. Ordwin rolls his eyes. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shrug. Uh, opens up uh, Ordwin's little uh, pouch and uh, shoves him in uh, his jacket pocket. Gives a big old thumbs up. Neatly puts the bag back together, how it was before. Uh, and I guess he stashes a knife somewhere too. All right. You squint at the knife that, um, that I mean, Indian squints at the knife that. Q is carrying. All right. And you, you would notice him uh, looking at your dagger. He he looks, he looks at Finian and is at what? Point, uh, points at where the new dagger is hidden. Q looks at uh, at where uh, the other dagger is. Is like, what about it? Finian squints. They're he's both very like, pretty to him, so he's like... He, uh, he uh, uh, takes out his dagger. And he, like, he flips it around and, uh, and like, and, and looks, at, looks at Finian and says, this dagger is very special to me. And if you take this from me, I won't promise your life. My my, a touchy group you are. He that... he puts the dagger back into his uh, holster, and he uh pretty much curl um curls back into the corner and like dozes off. Yeah. To what she just kind of said, I'll just shrug and just say we're still functional. <clears throat> we all have our demons at the room. I guess they all go to bed. Finian, before you do, are you sure you don't want to put back that man's belongings? Finian thinks about it and shakes his head no. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So, you guys continue to ride for a bit until it gets uh, later in the night. It is starting to get cold out, and you would put on your, uh, your jackets to keep yourselves warmer. Ordwin, you're starting to get tired. Yeah, I'm going to stretch my arms. <clears throat> I look over at Baltimore, see if he's still good to go. Uh, I'd imagine we, like, we would have been resting that entire time, too. Alright, if you would have taken a, uh, your, uh, your version of a long rest. Yeah. You should I, be I, good. Yeah, in that case, uh, I'll just kind of, like, stretch a bit and just gonna say, sure, I'll watch. And Orvin right. will lay on down. Alright, you stop the cart and get off to go into the back of it to give, uh, him his time. Baltimore, do you have land vehicle proficiency? Uh, I don't, unfortunately. Okay, well, just ride uh, animal handling as is, then. Oh, boy. I'm oh, great. Oh, okay. someone who... Nice, if he's I not can... gonna break my horse. If I can work with an alligator, I can work with a horse. Come on, bud. <laughs> great. Give somebody who doesn't have a license to drive. Ordwin would have been you? so mad. 
<laughs> I trusted you. He's not I... on your insurance plan. To be fair, I also trusted me. <laughs> All right. So you continue to ride uh, through the night, and you start to uh, you see a village up ahead as the snows getting uh, it is getting more and more uh, piled. All right. Um. It's, like, on the way, right? Of where we're supposed to be going? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. <clears throat> um. Uh, it's, like, also nighttime, I'm guessing? Ish? Uh, yeah, it's about nine. Okay. Uh, in that case, we can pull into that town, then. Um, and then we can get, like, proper rooms if everybody wants to. And we can also let off the one guy here, too. Alright, you, uh... You get to town, and... It's a... Pretty, uh... Bumhick town. So... You do find a small inn, and you stop the cart outside. Alright. Everybody up. We're, uh... We're, uh... Found ourselves a nice uh, bit of a uh, in here. Okay, let off, Mister. And I'm gonna like the second the guy kind of starts to wake up a bit. I'm gonna like he is already I... uh, stringing up his bag and uh, starting to get off. Oh, all right. Well, you have a good one then. Can I do a um, investigation Thank if there's you. a stable for the horse? Uh, go ahead. Oh, and he uh. <laughs> Leans up to you before he gets off you. Okay. And he gets off and waves to you guys. As he begins to uh, walk off. All right, so, Ordwin and Finian, you look around for a stable, and you do find a, a small rundown stable that you uh, can bring the horse. All right, I guess I'll go over there and talk to the fellow, if there's someone there. Uh, you don't see anyone uh, outside of it, but there is still a light on in the house. You see right. the flickering of the candle. Right, I'm going to walk up and knock on the door. Just give me a moment. Please, take your time. And the door opens up, and there stands a woman uh, in a green apron looking at you. Uh, yes, can I help you? <clears throat> Hi, yes, uh, my friends and I are travelers from out of town. I was hoping I'd be able to stable my horse here for the evening. Uh, okay, you're, you are my husband. Uh, give me a second. He's eating right now. She, uh... Oh, please. Close the door and a, f a few, a, a minute later, the door opens back up and you see a man walk out of the house. All right, over here. I'm just going to follow him with Charlie. He leads you over to the uh, stable and he just rattles the doors of each of them. All right, uh, no. Uh... Okay, this one should be good. And he opens up the door for uh, Charlie to go into. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there and ask how much. Uh, how much is it for the evening? Uh, it's just a golden night, and I'll make sure right, to feed him, him in the morning. Thank you. I hand him a piece of gold. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your dinner. Tell the missus I said thank you for your time. Of course. And you uh, head back to the inn where you guys were staying. Well, I'm going to go ahead and unload the cart, too, just so we don't have anything sitting outside. Okay. Bring it in. So, back at the bar. I mean, the uh, inn, not bar. Uh, Baltimore and uh, Hugh. You yeah. walk in, 
and you see a lady at the uh, desk in front. And she uh, looks up. Uh, welcome to the end. Uh, how how can I help you? Would you like uh, a room? Yes, we'll just be, uh, me and my associates will be staying for the night. Uh, how much is it for a room? Um, I really should have this page saved. <laughs> we ask this question a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I really should have this saved. Okay. Um, it's... It's just, uh, two silver a night. Alright. Sounds like a plan. And, um... <clears throat> I'll be grabbing... Oh, God. So, I'm guessing, uh... El Ellie and Eliza are gonna be sharing a room. Mm-hmm. So that's two. I'm gonna get my own, so that's four. <clears throat> I can pay for you guys' room, too. If you guys want to share, like, get your own separate one, because I'll just plop a goal on the table so everybody can, can have their own room. I give him, sure. like, a bow, like a thank you. Oh, yeah, then I'll just uh, plop a gold on the table. All right. Oh. Um, all right. Oh. Lucky for you, no one really comes to this town that much. So, uh, please, follow me. Oh, all right, thank you. Uh, sorry, sorry if it seems a bit, uh, more run down than you might be used to. Oh, it's fine. She leads you over to some, uh, to, to a hallway. And, uh, well, pick a room, is, is all I'll say. Okay, then. And, There's only uh... one guest here, so you, uh, you're free to choose. Okay. Um, in that case, I'll just walk into a random room. All right. So you all go into rooms. Is this? Are these rooms on the top floor or on the bottom floor? There is no top floor. Okay, just to make sure. Yep. Don't want to fall into any barrels. Do we happen to know who the other tenant is? Is it the guy? Uh, no, he walked off. All right. All right. The tenant's name was Chicago. I was actually going to ask you a bit about him, Hugh. Uh, once you kind of like left, it uh, seemed to me as you know the man. He was, huh? Oh yeah. Um, he he was. Uh, I met him a long time ago on my travels. Uh, it's kind of weird that he's still hitchhiking on on the on the roads. I see. Um. I noticed that you two share a similar dagger of sorts. Can I ask about that? Oh, well, I mean, I just happened, I just, the dagger that I have is, was given to me by a, a very, very special person. His dagger, I'm not sure where he got his. I see. Then could I ask about that special person then? Any, do you still stay in contact with them or? Um, I mean, I'm technically speaking still doing a job for him. I'm still on that job that I mentioned. Uh, I am still looking for that person. All right. But uh, pretty much this dagger was given to me by him. I gotcha. Well, I wish you luck in finding that person then, that you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh... Ow. Uh, I'm going to retire to my room. Alright. Hugh, Hugh shuts his door and uh, he locks it. Alright. And Finian and Orban? Finian is yeah, walking I'm back. Retire as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to lock my window, lock my door, check underneath the bed. Ever since that uh, break in. in uh, our guild hall. He's been a little more cautious about his surroundings. Alright. Well. There's a moment that I'll be having with uh, Hugh later. Uh, during this night. But. Yeah. 
you guys manage to uh, get catch yourself a uh, rest for the night. You do have to bundle up in the fur clothing that you had uh, bought, because it is a bit cold here. But you get through the night, and you wake up in the morning. Nice. Um. Oh, it's about to. Do we want to call it or keep going? It's up to you guys. So we can. Five minutes. Yeah, we can keep going if you want. Okay. All right. Progress Hugh's story a little bit. Oh. Uh. Yeah. In that case, uh. If his bit of story is going to be uh, done. Privately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want to pull him then real quick, you can. Well. Uh. We we can continue hey, later when we're done. Hey, Therian. What's up? If you deafen yourself, can the stream still hear us? Uh, I can deafen both. Or no, no I I mean, like uh, no, I mean like. Uh, would the stream still be catching our uh, us talking if you deafen? Like for if I went and like if deafened we want Discord. To do a, like if we want to do something that's secret from you guys, but is not still secret on, from the audience. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything set up like that. Okay. Well, check out the secret video that. that's going to be on uh, uh, Slender Guardian's channel. Maybe. Not really. We can pop into a different room while y'all do it, and you can tell us when it comes. No, back. We'll, we'll just do it after the session. All right, all right. So you wake up in the morning, and well, what would you like to do? Uh, is breakfast included in this uh, good old change, or do we have to pay for that separately? You hear a knock on the door. Oh, poggers! I'm gonna open it. Um, it's not much, but, uh, here. She gives you, uh, some bread. Yo, poggers! <laughs> How come she went to him first? Because he paid. She's going to each of you one by one. Oh, yeah. sorry, I wasn't there for that. Yeah, uh, I'll just give her a nod. It's gonna say, uh, oh, thank you. And, um... She's pretty. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then once I grab the food, I'm gonna, like, just get, uh, get ready for the day and then, uh, head downstairs. Yeah, Ordwin's gonna go ahead and eat his food, and then he's gonna go down and check on Charlie. Finian's gonna join Ordwin. He was just gonna stay in his room for a bit. Uh, let's see, let's use this. I'll send it to you guys so you can see. There. Oh, hey. Yes. All right. So each of you are woken up and uh, given bread. All righty. Um... Do to go one by one, or do you want to just... Uh, Go past that. Yeah. We'll, we'll go past that. It's... Okay. Yeah. So. I thank the lady and go on and head out to the to the stables. All right. I and... do in my own way as well. And you uh, joining Ordwin, I'm yeah. guessing? Okay. So you walk out to the stables to see the, uh, see the man from last night. Uh, Shoveling hay into the stall. Hello, sir. Ah, welcome back. Just giving him his breakfast for the morning. Hey, he looks like he's been well taken care of. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I don't have a lot of horses to look after. You look around, and he's the only uh, horse many... there. I'm gonna use my awakened mind and kind of ask the horse how he's doing. Still hear screams in the night. Other than the screams, how was your uh, how was your evening? Fine, fine. 
<laughs> Wonderful. We have a long day ahead of us. Just stay rested, eat up. I'll be back. Candy Mountain. We're not going to Candy Mountain. Thank you. All right. All right. So you go back to the barn. I mean, at the, at the inn. Yeah. 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 And uh, what about the rest of you? Baltimore, Hugh. I'm just, yeah, I'm just eating my bread. He he was eating his bread inside his room. Has anyone woken up Ellie and Eliza? Oh yeah. Uh, if they're not downstairs in a little bit, I'd go do that. Uh. Well, you're all in separate rooms right now. Oh, there's not like a main hall? Uh, kind of. It's a waiting area. Yeah, I would have walked down uh, to I'll that. Be... Like... Okay, yeah. That's where I am right now. Is in that and it's all one floor. So. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so. Yeah. Eventually, you all are uh, out there in the uh, in the lobby. Oh, oh well, he he was staying in his room. Okay. So everyone but Hugh is out in the lobby. Nope. Uh, let me go check on Hugh as well. I'll be back. Ordwin's um, asking. Oh. Ordwin's gonna ask Ellie and Eliza how they slept. So, ladies, how was your how was your slumber? It was sleep. It went well. You're very straight and direct to the point, aren't you? Yeah. Why shouldn't I be? I like that about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, Ordwin is fancying this girl. You don't even know. Eliza or Yeah, okay, the one. Eliza. Yeah, I open up. <laughs> Alright. So Hugh, you hear a knock on your door. Hugh uh answers, yeah. Are you all ready to go today, Hugh? Uh just just give me a minute. Alright. Let me know if you need any help. Ordwin starts all counting right. down from sixty. <laughs> All right, you just uh, hear out in the uh, out in the lobby, 60, 59, 58, 57. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Baltimore, you come back to just him counting backwards. You know, I believe when people ask for a minute, they don't mean it in a literal sense, but. <laughs> and you wait and wait and wait it's been too long let's go check again this time I'll go back All right. loud Did... bang on the door you bang on the door this time and you don't hear an answer Indian looks at the uh, uh, pushes Ordwin back and breaks out his hey, thief tools all right. Uh, rolls. You have thieves tool proficiency, right? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, roll side of hand and add two. We'll just add two. So seven. Seven. Yikes. Your one of your uh lock picks snaps. You gotta pull another one out to start again. Tries again. While he's doing this, I'm gonna go let Baltimore know what's going on. Alright. Uh, Baltimore. Yes? You did just speak to Hugh, did you not? Oh, yes. You told me to wait. Uh, give him some... Uh, ah, give him a minute. Well, it doesn't seem to be there now, and the door's locked. Um, you open I'm the gonna... door. Oh, he opened... Can we see him open the door? Finian opens the door, and Q is not in there. And knocks, then you knocks two go the door. over there. 
Finian knocks on the door to. Yeah, that's peculiar. Finian knocks on the door to see if there's any uh, sounds that emit from anywhere. Um, is can I roll like investigation to see if there are any signs of him like leaving through a yeah like a struggle? Uh, yeah. roll investigation. Twelve. There are no signs of a struggle. Yeah, I was asking if I could like find where he went, or would that be like survival kind of deal? Uh, well. You would have to do survival to track. Okay. 19. All right. Hugh. Yes. Which way did you go? Um. Which way did the man went? He went uh, a bit north out of town. Um, that's, that's where he, that's where he headed. All right. You start heading north, going the direction you, uh, remember him having gone last. And Baltimore. Mm -hmm. You are able to, uh, track him having gone north. Out the window. Okay. Oldman, get the card ready. It looks like we're heading north. All right. I'm going to walk out into the main area, and I'm going to talk to Ellie and Eliza. <clears throat> Alright, girls. It seems Hughes is gone. Uh, walk about, headed north. We're going to go get the horses ready, and start heading that way. If you didn't get your fill of food here, I have plenty of rations in the cart. You can have berries, nuts, more bread. But uh, we're going to have to start pressing forward. All right. And then I'm going to head on out to the stables and start getting Charlie ready. And while we're doing that, I'm going to take a really fast bio. I got to pee. All right. And uh, Finian starts helping pack up the wagon and get everything ready. All right. We so still have. Getting ready. Yeah, we still have that guy's dagger, right? Yes. Is there any arcana that I could possibly see? Maybe? I don't Roll know. Arcana. You get a faint aura off it, but you have no idea what's going on. Points to Baltimore. Uh, I suppose it's, now's a better time than any, and I'm gonna try to say nope. You don't even notice the aura. <clears throat> Just seems like a normal dagger. Alright, well... <clears throat> Regardless, let's get ready to head out then, shall we? Uh, sh uh shows Ordwin dagger because he sees an aura. Wait, what happened? Sorry. Roll Arcana for us only. Ooh. There is abjuration magic on this dagger. Specifically, tracking. So tracking magic. Sweet. Oh. Oh, what was the Or are we just getting rid of it? Uh, uh, no, I... So we're set up on the thingy, by the way. Oh, okay. I accidentally misclicked on that. All right. So you begin to go north, following the road out of town. Alright. Um. And, like, while we're heading north, are we still, like, following, uh. 
Hugh's trail? Uh, yes. All right. Then we'll just keep going with that until uh, we stumble upon him. All right, he's messaging me some. Okay. While we're in the car, Ordwin's gonna ask Finian, do you mind sharing a little bit of your wine to keep us all warm? Finian looks around to see if Hugh's there. No? All right. Give us a little wine. <laughs> That's toxic. They, well, Hugh's an alcoholic. Hugh's the alcoholic, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I'm the drunken rogue, not the drunken monk. He's the one who woke up in the morning drunk. I have a reason to be drunk. It helps him build his key points back up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. You guys are continuing on the road. And because you're on a cart and he's on foot... You, you, you notice that the uh, trail you're following is, uh, well, easier to see. All right, now you. Yes. Del. Oh, before I do that, I have this to make one of my things that I'm not proficient in, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be uh, make my stealth proficient. All right. And I'm gonna roll. And I'm gonna roll. Dang it! <laughs> it didn't matter. All right. Well, you think you're hidden. Uh, you hide yourself in a bush. You think you're hidden good enough, and you set yourself up. Let me guess. I jumped inside a bush, but it wasn't actually a bush. It wasn't a full bush, and they could see my whole body. You don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. So, you guys continue to uh, follow the trail, and Baltimore, since you're the one that's been uh, tracking, yep. you notice the trail veers off to the left. Off the road. Alright. Uh... You follow the uh, trail with your eyes, Yep. and you see a crossbow and a uh, crouched down hue. Uh, sticking out of a bush. Is the crossbow aimed at me? You. You. Oh, I muted myself. Sorry. Yeah. He he doesn't fire because he knows it's his friend. Yeah, but uh, where's the crossbow aimed? Uh, the crossbow was aimed at at a tree because he was trying to see uh where uh the guy went. He's been trying to track the guy. All right. Finian then, notices uh, this. Perception. I roll it, or? Yes. Okay. Wow, he is just bad. You don't notice it, but uh, you notice Baltimore and the others. He, he pops out of the bush and says, what are you guys doing here? Well, the better question is, why did you choose to sneak out in the middle of the night? He he uh, puts his crossbow away and he walks up to Baltimore. Is it is it okay? So about this guy, Ordwin stands up next to Baltimore, like with him, you know, in this whole situation, yeah. kind of like, and just kind of crosses his arms and just looks at you. Finian also does the same. Yeah, you're aware we're supposed to be a team, yes. He uh he he um clears his throat. Is I understand that, but this is a personal matter. Finian rolls his eyes and is like, points at himself, like, and does the whole, like, frying pan face look, like, really? And Ordwin just starts mumbling, but you can kind of hear the words. Chill touch. I understand the need for feeling, oh, I understand the feel to handle these personal matters by yourself, but judging from the fact that you were laying, that ah, running an ambush on someone. I'd imagine this is a that a relatively dangerous task. And as your friends, I would ask to help. Ah, uh, uh, that word. Sorry. Um, 
I would ask to help in this matter as well if we're, we'd be permitted to. Finian or holds up two fingers, like 1v1, and then does like one could be knocked over, and then I uh, holds up all four fingers on one hand and versus one, and just grabs onto the one finger with all his four fingers. Or at the very least, had given us a. Hmm. Incl inclination. Give, yeah, given us an inkling as to what you were doing so we wouldn't have worried. You, you, um, like he, he looks, he looks away and he just, and, um, he whispers to himself, I didn't want to get you guys involved. Finian rolls his eyes and then points his one finger up and then four and then wraps it around the one finger again. Orduin just says, uh, Adventurer's Guild, we're already involved. Yep. He, he looks, um, uh, looks up at everybody and, uh, he takes out his dagger. I said, this dagger that I'm holding is a symbol of the Thieves' Guild. Mm. Finian holds you up. You all would know that that's an illegal guild. Mm. Finian holds up other dagger that he stole and then has a question mark face. Uh, and then uh, he looks at the dagger. He puts his dagger away. So like that dagger was meant to be given to me. Throws it at you. Not in a like, I'm going to kill you, but like <laughs> yeah. throw uh, throws yeah, it to him like a toss. Yeah. And then uh he looks he looks at Baltimore and uh he he uh Baltimore is there a way you can destroy this dagger? Uh, F uh Finian waves his finger uh, like no like uh, uh does uh like the mystical hands on it or towards it? I uh, Ordwin's going to look towards Finian and say, you know, um, we just asked Hugh to trust us. And if he's telling us to destroy it, there's obviously a reason. I don't think we should question his motives. Uh, yeah, Finian uh, uh, was like, uh, Finian's trying to give the whole like tracking or looking, scouting look and then points at Dagger and then mm -hmm. gives mystical like finger wag. Uh, and then, um, he, uh, ex then he says, this dagger was meant to track me on my mission. Mm, I see. Well, um, can I borrow the dagger then real quick? Uh, he hands out, hands the dagger over to Baltimore. Uh, can also do a roll of perception check to see mm -hmm. if we're being spied on. Go ahead. This time you notice him. And he's leaned up against the tree. Just smiling and looking at you guys. Finian punches his fist in to his hand. Oh, do you point do you point him out to them or you? Okay, sorry. What? Do you point him out to them? Or no? Uh, he is, he was, um, in his mind, he is going back and forward in his head. Truthfully, he doesn't know what, what to do. All right. Um, oh, actually, hold on. Oh, never mind. I was going to look at my passive perception to be like, do I just kind of, like, notice you looking around? Uh, would that work on all of us technically? Um, you. Yes. Are you trying to pretend you're not looking around? Uh, no, he's not pretending. He was. Uh, oh, you're it, not trying to hide it. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff going in his mind saying, "What should I do? What should I do? Should I do it or should I not?" So you didn't try to hide that you were looking around. No. At that moment. Okay. So yeah, you all noticed that he was looking around. Okay. And where he's looking at currently, can I pivot around? Okay. 
Same here. You turn around. Uh, roll your perception with advantage. Ten four. I'll do the same. All right, advantage. Give me one sec. Seventeen. Yep, he's right there. Yikes. Uh, Finian, you don't notice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Orduin's so just not even paying much attention. He's just kind of standing there, still arms crossed. Can Finian so act like he's seen him, but he's like, then trying to act all menacing? Oh, uh, before you do, I actually have something to my help. Uh, so I was gonna look at like, or I was gonna like kind of, like nod to you and just kind of, or like nudge to you and just kind of say, so, do we like? We don't like this man, right? He he um, is contemplating. All right. You watch him as he uh, pushes himself off the tree and uh, walks behind it. And as he does, he walks back out from behind it on a branch up ahead, up up over top. Like he climbed or he teleported? It's almost like he just walked a straight line and he's right there. <laughs> Hold on. And uh, Hugh. Yes. You see him hold up a timepiece. He, uh... Oh, what should... Uh... What would Hugh do? What would Hugh do? What would Hugh do? That is not the right one. What are you rolling for? <clears throat> he, uh... He, whis he whispers... Uh, he, he walks up to Baltimore, he whispers in his ear. Okay. And then he whispers in... Uh, he, uh, in Bal no, wait, did wait. I say Baltimore? Yeah. Okay. Can I hear this with my passive? Um, what's your passive? Uh, gives you the ability to touch minds of creatures. You can telepathically speak to them. Oh, so you them. could probably just telepathically, like, talk to you then. Right, but, like, so the guy, that, I don't even know this other guy's here, so I can't use it on him. But I see Hugh whispering to Baltimore. Can I use it on him to hear what he's saying? No. You know what? I'm not going to do that anyways, just because I'm trying to build trust here. Okay. And I think I might alter that rule anyway, because it seems a bit OP to just always ha be able to connect to someone. Oh man, let me tell you a little something <laughs> about Clash Tars and Mind Link. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I would say that they would have to be willing, otherwise they make a save. So That's why Finian and okay. Ordwin are always... Yeah. I can I can speak for Finian. That's one of the since we're on this topic now. That's one of the um things we've I been doing. Finian is ready to rumble. He is. You uh, finish what you were doing there. You. Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm sending it to you. Sending it to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm waiting. I have to type it. Uh, he whispers um, to Baltimore. I'm sorry. Man. You're sorry? Um, make an attack roll. Like, uh, like initiative or? Nope, just an attack. Or is that? Oh. Uh, this is an improvised, so you don't have proficiency in improvise so just d20 plus your uh dexterity or strength uh do i add the the three or do i add the 16 the, the three, three. Okay. <gasps> wanted to make sure imagine getting a plus 16 to a roll 
All right. Uh, hey, Baltimore. What's up? Does that hit you? Nope. All right. He just tried to uh, stab you with a bolt. This is the second fucking time I've been shanked. What the fuck? <laughs> he attempted to stab you with a uh, crossbow bolt. Finian is angered by this and punches Hugh right in the face. Roll While we're top. doing this, is Ellie and Eliza, what, what are they doing while they're watching this? Uh, Ellie's just uh, burying her face, and Eliza's laughing. Yeah, because I feel like they've got to be looking at us, at us like, who are these people? Does that hit <sighs> you, Hugh? Uh, 11? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Give me give me a sec and I'm gonna <laughs> Are you gonna do anything in response, Baltimore? Oh yeah, sure. This guy walked behind a tree, right? Uh and appeared on a branch above. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna walk behind a tree tree too while flipping him off, and then while I'm behind the tree I'm gonna do something. <laughs> so you're not gonna do anything about Hugh trying to stab you? This is the second time at this point I'm unfazed. <laughs> uh, do you let him just walk away, or do you want to take your opportunity attack? You. Um, because he because he failed, uh, he disengages and he tries to run away. All right. Can Orban try to restrain? Uh, he disengaged. Hmm. And so you uh, you also see Baltimore go behind a tree, and then you see him uh, on top of a branch. Is he gonna? Orban's just looking around so puzzled. Is he gonna WWE body slam me? <laughs> Do you go your full speed away from them? By the way. Yes. How? Uh, which direction? Away from them. Yes, north, south. Yeah. Oh, I should probably specify how I did that, by the way. Sorry. Give me one sec. Um, um my guess is that since they're heading north, he he runs north, more north away towards, not right. towards the trees where the uh, guy is, but the opposite side. Yeah, and the last thing you see from him is a frown. As you uh, run up north. Oh, you okay? Close to the guy. Okay. Yeah. And he yeah, looks over to it. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah. So fun little ditty about that. Uh, I can cast touch spells through that. So, fuck you. That's for my back. <laughs> 16. 16. Um. Yes, that does. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, you, uh, you hit him with that spell. <clears throat> How... You did so much damage. What the hell? Uh, yeah, okay. Inflict wounds is He's disgusting. pissed off. Dis yeah, no. <laughs> First of all, this is the second goddamn time in a, like... <laughs> this is the second goddamn time I've been shanked by somebody I thought I could trust. And then, like, this guy has the fucking audacity to try to fucking BM me. Oh, yeah, right. Spell burnout. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. You know, maybe this is why they had it so heavily favored towards the negatives. Because of how rare it is to get a burnout? I guess so. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, we can change that if you'd like at some point, but... Yeah, no, fucking, this is the second time I've been shanked by somebody uh, that I thought I could trust. <clears throat> and then this guy has the fucking audacity to, like, fucking try and, like, try to BM me by teleporting. Fuck you. And when you do that, he... He steps off the branch and falls into the snow. <laughs> and you just see a puff of snow. Finian? Get him. 
Sick. Penny, oh <laughs> Penny goes to town. Fuck him up. I see you? Penny's eyes just slowly starting to close. His fists starting to and punch Penny each and other. You, uh, you, music start playing. <laughs> you run up there to where the uh, puff of snow was. And you start punching at the ground. And he's, there's no one there. There is a note, however. Reads note. You read the note, and it says, I hope you like the dagger. I hope you like the fucking inflict wounds. <laughs> the second goddamn time I've been shanked. I <laughs> mean, so your friend uh, has ran up north. <sighs> okay. Can I use uh? We still, have, we still have the dagger that's tracking him, though, right? Yes. No, wait. I gave it oh, to him. Well, the uh, the uh, Baltimore has the dagger. Yeah, I, I, ha yeah, I yeah. have yeah. the dagger on me because I was gonna destroy it. Uh, I'm gonna sell it just to be him. Just fuck this guy. <laughs> Can I uh, use nature or whatever to track? Um, uh, it'd you? be survival if you're trying to track. Okay. Um. So Hugh. Yes. Uh. Are you just running the entire time? Yes, he's he's running. He uh. He, there's a lot of things going on in his head. He uh, he failed his mission, and he's just trying. He's just running away. All right. Uh, uh, Finian, you you know the general direction he went, and you start running that way yourself. Yeah, Finian's pissed. Regardless, uh, he doesn't care who it is. He had his buddy try and kill another buddy. He's had. Another guy try and kill another guy. It's it's ridiculous. He's just angry. Yeah, I'm just gonna like kind of. <clears throat> I'd imagine like the crossbow bolt like slightly pierced into like some leathery part of my armor. Uh, uh just, yes. Yeah, I just pull it out and just gonna like look to Eliza and Elliot and just gonna say, "We're moving. Let's go." My my, having a friend of yours betray you. Yeah, you're used to it apparently. Welcome and, uh, to the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> you guys continue. You guys begin to uh, go off towards him. And Finian, you manage to catch up since you are actually slightly faster. <laughs> and you uh, see Hugh right in front of you as you're it's, both running. I'd like to blame it on always riding on Ordwin's shoulders so he's never tired. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Finian is enraged, super angry in general. Uh, and you, oh, wish... you notice a, a small Finian uh, running to you, catching up to you. He he uh, he keeps running, but he pulls his dagger out just in case. All right, Finian, what are you gonna do when you catch up to him? One, I'm gonna wrestle him to the ground or knock him down, and hopefully disarm him. All right. Uh, athletics versus acrobatic. Wait, do I roll athletics or? Nope, he rolls the athletics. Okay. Dude. Hey, based on my rolls, you could you probably you could probably get me. And I hit acrobatics. Yep. And Finian, you try to grab onto his uh, ankles to make him fall down. And Hugh just jumps out of the way as he continues to run. I'm gonna try again. Okay. Roll your uh, rolls again, guys. Man. Yes. We and flipped. this time you manage to uh, grab his ankle, and Hugh, you fall down into the snow. I'm gonna disarm him first. Is that something? Uh, with your key abilities? Uh, I don't think I can disarm with my key ability. Okay. Uh, I have uh, I have my fist ready, 
looking at him like obviously i can't speak it's more of like more of a pleading why on my face and uh so hugh you you you've tripped and you've fallen into the snow and you turn around to see finian on top of you with his uh with his fist up oh wait did he disarm me already no uh, he he was gonna attempt to attack with his uh, all right. Well, well, not attack with his dagger. He wants to try to push Finian off. All right. Uh, that'll be opposed uh, athletics. So I just wrote athletics. Do I have disadvantage? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. Um, Finian. Yes. You can do an attack roll to try and knock his weapon out. My gosh! Oh my god! <laughs> and he kicks your hand, and your dagger falls to the ground. That, uh, he looks at his end, dagger. Uh, he looks athletics. At oh. uh, athletics now. Yep. And you manage to uh, keep him down as he's uh, struggling. And the rest of you, you start to get closer, and you <laughs> see them uh, struggling in the snow. Yeah. Um. While we were walking out, I was just gonna like explain the situation to the other two that I weren't seeing it. Uh, and then once I see Finian like kind of like uh, pinning down Hugh, I'm just gonna walk over, just sigh, and just kind of crouch down. Just say, uh, first and foremost, you might want to take lessons on stabbing people from the girl over there. Burn. Fin <laughs> Finian kind of smiles and <laughs> <laughs> Finian kind of laughs. <laughs> he uh, he had like a like oh. a big like a giant uh, Chinese walk just hit him in the head. <laughs> does does that get a does that get a chunk from Elijah at all? I'm curious or Ellie. Sorry. Uh yes. Finian kind of breaks out of his normal. Uh, stone face and is actually in tears laughing from this burn. And second of all, I don't know what kind of consequences this will have for you, but again, we're friends you. I'm sure that whatever comes our way, we can handle it. You just have to tell us. Finian... Also, don't fucking stab me again. <laughs> Finian gets up and puts out his hand to Hugh. He he. Uh, instead of grabbing the hand, he he's, he slaps it away, and he like try he um backs up a bit, and he um gets gets into like a like a fetal position. And he said, "I'm sorry, but I'm already a dead man, so you might as well just get it over with." Finian slaps uh, Finian slaps Hugh across the face, picks him up as much as he possibly can, and puts him on his feet, and then dusts. Off here. Uh, I don't think you can put him on his feet. Dude, I have 15 strength. Yeah, Let's go. Short. Give Let's me go. A, you you get yeah. me on my knees. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. You pull him up to his knees. Yeah. And then ask you to lean in so you could slap him across the face again and then points one finger at him like, no. <laughs> How do you respond to you? He he was he was like um, not well. He he's 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 tearing up. He's crying a bit. Uh, he failed his mission. He's a disgrace to the he's a disgrace to the guild, and uh, now he's a wanted man. Hey, Baltimore, <laughs> do you have anything to say right now? Um, a few things. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna like kind of like you know uh kneel next to Hugh and just kind of say, uh, well, you said you were dead, bad Hugh, but let me ask you something. Did you feel those slaps Finian just gave you? Yes? He, he's like, yeah, I did. Freaking then monk. clearly, then clearly, you're not dead yet. Isn't that right? He was like, well, I am going to be, and you and everyone, but, everyone here. But, you're not dead yet, are you? He, he uh, sniffles and is like, no. Exactly. Finian goes Again, off at look, looking for that dagger. Finds oh, I it still in, have it on me. 
No, the one that I no, kicked the out one of the he, he slapped away from. Oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, you can find that easily. It's yeah. stuck in a tree and pulls it out and puts it into huge sheaf and then pats it. And I'm, yeah, and I'm just gonna like kind of just say to you, and clearly, like you still have a chance, my friend. I don't pretend to know what exactly will come away in the future, but I can assure you that well, whatever it does, we'll be fine so long as we handle it as a group. Hugh, uh, Hugh stands up and he he takes the dagger and he looks at it. Uh, that one that Tiffany put back in the sheath. He looked at the dagger and then he um, and he's going to throw it. Finian gives a big old finger wag. You toss um, the dagger. Well, oh, my, my bad. I accidentally hit, it, hit something. Now you're just showing off the strength of your throw. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you just fucking cut down a tree, dude. Let's go. <laughs> you Finian. toss it and it sticks itself into a tree. Is that I am not worthy of that dagger. Finian takes it. Uh, oh. Roll uh, athletics, by the way. Finian. Oh, yeah. Athletics, Finian. Yikes. You try to pull it out, and you can't seem to get it to wedge. It is now a sword, and it's now a dagger in a stone or a dagger in a tree. Yeah. Um, Only the worthy can take it. Yeah, once you, once you say, like, I'm not worthy of that dagger, I'm just gonna kind of, like, just stand up. I'm just gonna say, or... I think the more likely uh, answer is that that dagger is that dagger's not worthy of you, my friend. It appears that you're better than that dagger. Pinion points at the other dagger. And as for this, <clears throat> uh, out of character, I'm going to ask, do we want to destroy it or sell it? Uh, if you, you can't, you can't sell it. No one will buy it because it's uh, is an equipment of the. Assassin's Guild. Okay. In that case, I am going to hold it in my hands and uh, Mr. DM, man. Yes. Could I uh, use Inflict Wounds to basically disintegrate the damn thing? Uh, you've, you've used two slots today, right? Uh, one yesterday and one today. Okay. Alright. Go ahead. Okay. Rolls Actually, one. I could just use Chill Touch to see if that'll work. And if I need chill something touch. stronger, I'll do. Okay, yeah. He used okay. Dagger on the other hand, though. And if you can't, I still have my spells as well. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I have plenty of spell slots. So I just want to see if a Chill Touch will do it. Does it work, or...? Uh, you you use the Chill Touch on it, and I want you to roll Arcana. Okay. 16. And you uh, you cast a spell on it, and you manage to crack it. <clears throat> Alright. And one more, then. Should do it. Roll Arcana again. 17. And this time you are able to uh, get it to break in half. Well, it's not uh, as potent as I wanted it to be, but that should do. And I'll like toss the remains of the dagger in the snow. Can I keep the handle? At least? You can grab the handle and keep it, yes. Kind of like so a little you can trophy. put down that you have a broken, ornate dagger. And he was typing something. Sorry. Because you guys were talking, so I, I just I just typed inside the chat. But uh but yeah, pretty much a Hughes dagger on the other hand, it's uh because it belong uh it belonged to somebody special, it's actually a very, very valuable dagger <laughs> that can be sell because it's it belonged to a very notorious you know, man. That might have been something that Hugh should say in character. It wouldn't be out of character knowledge for everyone else. Uh, okay. If you want to bring it up, go for it. But otherwise, I'd I'll just leave it in the tree. Yeah, just leave it stuck. Yeah, he doesn't want to touch that dagger because uh, it's it's too much uh, nostalgia and uh, stuff. Okay, that's fine. 
I guess we all walk back to the the caravan or whatever it is, the the horse. Yep. Such a touching touching moment. Oh, you ready oh, to go? Okay. He uh, he uh, once uh, says, uh, "I just wanted to men let you mention, I am a wanted man now." Dinian rolls his eyes. And uh, you and uh, we will have to, we will have more conflicts in the future, but not from me, but from the people who wants me dead. Dinian, who may that be, if we can ask? So you know that I was part of Thieves Guild. Well, we do now. Well, um, there was a more notorious, more even more illegal guild that I that my that my guild was a branch of, and they're the one that gave me the uh, the job to find this person to kill. Can I ask what person that be then? Baltimore, uh, uh, he 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 looks at Baltimore, and he look he like looks at he looks at Baltimore like, I just tried to stab you. Oh wait. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the fuck did I do? He um he doesn't really know uh, much about it, but all he knows is that somebody somebody uh it could be like a, a royalty, it could be. Uh, so like it could be somebody that has a really deep grudge on you, but somebody somebody hired the assassin kill, uh, to have you assassinated. Neat. And I was given that task. Okay, so it's but, personal now. <laughs> yes, but because I failed, now they're after me. And which you, makes us all the more. Wanting to keep you both alive now. The hell did I? I'm gonna like. Baltimore's just gonna like stop and just think for a bit. Just gonna be like, what did I Why do? Well, that's up to you to uh, figure out. Think of everything and that your character would have done. That that is something he wants to know too. What did you do to res to to deserve a an assassin's guild to come after you? Because after being with you for <laughs> so long, he can't imagine why they would want you dead. I just. I had my humble beginnings from it. You protected mm. a child. child. <laughs> How could child. someone who protects children want to I, like, do anything wrong? <laughs> when, the, when you oh, when you say oh, okay. you protected a child, I'm gonna freeze for a second. I'm just gonna say it's stopping somebody from killing a child. Not normal around here. <laughs> <laughs> Orwin kind of rolls his eyes and goes, "Well." <laughs> I can't take it back. I guess I'm an awful person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, it's a later thing. I'll figure it out eventually. Are we gonna get moving again? Oh, yep. <laughs> Let's go. He uh doesn't feel like jumping into the carriage with everybody. He's gonna walk behind the carriage. That's fine. It is snowing and cold, just so you know. Finian he points knows. at his fake watch wrist thing and it's like, you're wasting time if you're not on the carriage. Uh, like, fine, get he sits on. on the back of the carriage. That's fine. And, uh, I'll gain it as well. You know, okay. I'm about it. Am I ever going to get an apology for getting stabbed by you two? He, he looks at Ellie. Ellie's sleeping. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then he he looks he looks at <laughs> no, uh, <it's... laughs> and then he falls asleep too. Okay. <laughs> I think that has enough. Well, well, there's a thing I do want to say. Sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pulled oh me up. Am I gonna get an apology, you two? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I can't apologize for something I might do again. <laughs> I'm gonna be walking down the street and some random orphan is gonna shank me. I'm gonna be like, why the fuck does everyone want me dead? I haven't done anything. 
he must have done something. Dude, if one more person shanks you, Ordwin's gonna wonder what the hell you did. Uh, or, or, He's gonna start getting and, that chill touch Ordwin ready. Walks up to you. Ordwin sends his regards. Stab. What? <laughs> oh, Ordwin, did you send a hit? Is this why you're remembering? <laughs> <laughs> this is for that one time you didn't oh accept my, my fucking wine, you heathen. Well, I uh, wait, wait. Enjoy this session. <laughs> story <laughs> broken. Story broken. I have figured it out what you did. You pissed off Ordwin by not taking the drink, and he sent out the assassins <laughs> yeah, killed to kill. He's <laughs> done damn right. <laughs> Ord Ordwin was just like, "You failed me, Hugh." I'm sick into my you own hand. He just shakes me in my sleep. <laughs> It kisses you just like Fredo in like episode two or uh... Y'all are gonna lose your minds next week when that's what's really happened. I've done nothing wrong to anyone. What the fuck? Well the book says differently. I guess so. Like okay, oh my God. for the record to you, I asked because I'm just like, oh I guess he's just trying to stab me to see make it seem like he's betraying his friends. No, I guess I was just fucking on a hit list. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Best episode ever. Find out your friend has always wanted to betray you the whole time. And it's been stalking you. That's, that's the second fucking time I've been betrayed by somebody I thought I could trust. Is Ordwin the real villain? Find Ordwin. out next time. Ordwin's oh, laughing. Hail the oh, no. I want to point oh, out no. to you, the fucking, my other character in my oh. later session today, uh, she's also fucking like been betrayed like four fucking times by people she could trust. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Do I have to insight betrayal. everything now? He just seems like a betrayable you, you, person. You, you walk up to a door. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> I got a I got a ten. The door wants to shank you. <laughs> Do I get any XP for getting shanked by the way? Baltimore hops in the carriage, sits on a uh. sheath dagger. <laughs> the carriage shanked you for one d four. What? I'll, the give, I'll give everyone a hundred. Okay. Oh man. Uh, hundred what? XP. Hundred experience. <sighs> oh. Huh. So we're at twelve fifty. I don't yeah, know. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Yeah, twelve fifty. <laughs> All right. Nice session. Are we gonna be pushing forward or are we resting here? That's up to you. It's guys. early days. Uh, we're pushing forward. Well, yeah, we're pushing forward for episode. Probably push forward until either we find another town or we get to the ruins and then have a rest. And then Ordwin shanks Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Everyone uh, needs to do it except for Finian. Finian won't actually use. <laughs> that <laughs> nice. doesn't hit, thankfully. I just eventually <laughs> walk over to me, like fucking stab my fucking chest piece. I'm like, what? What, what is this for? <laughs> I pulled out my dagger and poked him in the leg. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is 17 right. head. This was you, fun. You, you look, you look at at Charlie, and you say. Hey, how you doing? And he turns his head around. And you see a knife in his mouth. <laughs> God, Baltimore's just gonna have like a fear of fucking daggers after like the ninth time. He, he, he's either gonna get used to it and like this is just his fucking life now to get stabbed by inanimate objects, or like he's just gonna have a fear of everybody. Finian's no, scared of, of people coming in his uh, room, like when it's dark. Literally, he has to check the windows and door and everything and underneath the bed before he goes to sleep now because of that root intruder. Welcome to fear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fear. Right. I'm your Are host. you throwing darts at me while I'm sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Dart board, dude. I'm we playing. Been drinking wine. A lot of wine. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you everyone for joining and, uh, We'll see you next week. You will not see Nurengrad on the uh, screen next week. Uh, I will hopefully have a map ready. Fantastic. Right. Have a good one, you guys. All right. Uh, bye bye. Yeah.